At its heart, Ronin is a puzzle game, one whose main concern is stopping the hearts of a multitude of faceless henchmen from ever beating again. Normally this conceit is paired with a third-person real-time action mechanic, but Ronin bucks the trend with a turn-based one instead. And you're going to be grateful for each of those pauses, because most scenarios involve several bad guys all gunning for you at the same time, with only your wits and a weak composition to get you through it. And thus, the puzzle elements were born. You'll spend most of your time maneuvering yourself in a position to stun or kill an enemy, all while dancing around the bullet trajectories of the others. Add to that the fact that enemies who can no longer see you call in a lockdown, and you'll have plenty to consider as you slice your way to success. But that isn't the entire game. Some of it is spent in a real-time mode, where you can plan your attack and even take out a few baddies stealthily. The problem is that switching between these two modes can be jarring or downright broken. This is especially troublesome when a countdown occurs and the game switches out of the turn-based mode, so there's suddenly a time crunch you have to address immediately or manually pause the game. There is a story here, but it's mostly told through a single image between missions. It's a pretty light way to justify the scenarios in the game, but it does give some drive to see what sorts of revelations might be in store at the end. Let's be honest though, you're here for the thinking man's action game, and Ronin certainly delivers. The game manages to create a satisfying twist on an old genre despite its occasional mechanical funkiness. If you're looking for a murder simulator that requires the use of a few more centers of the brain and can be comfortably played with a coffee in your hand, Ronin might be for you.